Hey YouTubers, Hot Hair One here. So I am trying to film this video as without. I'm like at low patience right now because it's just been one of those like bad days, right? And so I honestly wasn't gonna film this YouTube video, but then like I went to Walmart and I like got this, and so I was like, I had to like show you this. And so um, when I went to film, oh my goodness, let me just tell you my filming story. I always have a filming story to tell you guys because I feel like when I do YouTube videos, there's just always like a crazy story or crazy something that happens, right, in my videos. So um, I was going to film this and I was trying to get the right angles and it just was looking all crooked and I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Um, so then um, I finally got the right angle that I wanted, but then, which is the hardest part, and that's probably just because I'm a girl and that's just the girl problems I couldn't find something to wear and you guys can only see pretty much from like here up right so for like the bottoms I don't have to worry about it. I just throw on like mixed match you know on the bottom and you don't really have to see that but like with my top I always make sure like it doesn't wash me out and stuff like that and all this you know jazz and now yeah so um yeah so I finally found this like outfit to wear and I'm just like okay you know forget it let's just do the video um, so, and I'm looking kind of, like, rough, that's because just I had a bad day and my hair's a wreck, and, um, I tried to touch up my makeup as little as I could, but it just, it, it's a disaster today, it's basically what you call it, and, yeah, now I'm getting a Facebook message, you know who you are. Um, okay, so, the, if you're watching this video, which I don't think you are, because this is a, um, updated what's in my purse uh kind of video thing yeah ha, ha yeah um and the reason why it's like an updated one is because i did film a video of what's in my purse and it was of this purse but as you guys can see this purse is looking quite like it's had its like you know last days right um i got this like last august i feel of 2011 and, um, I've had it for, like, ever, and I just haven't really had the money or just the effort to go and buy, like, a new purse and stuff like that. And, because, like, purses, it's just really, I, I don't really care about the purse. I don't like wearing it, but I have so much junk I take with me that I feel like it'd be stupid to be walking around with all my junk, you know, like, all that type of stuff. So, that's why I just throw it in a purse. So, it, it, I really just stuck with the same purse, and I was like, fine, you know what, I just like got paid from like my job that I do for like pet nanny and I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna put some effort and get a purse so um I went to oh yeah this is my old purse by the way if you guys haven't seen it it looks like this I drew on the back of it because I was like just bored I guess and look at the inside there's a granola bar but it is like so disgustingly dirty it's just nasty I got that one at Kohl's so this one um is what it looks like and I got this one at Walmart today and it was for, uh, wait, no, there we go. You can't even see that. $10. So, only $10. It wasn't bad. I was like, hmm, should I get this $5 one or should I get the $10 one? But when I saw this, I was like, Lord have mercy, that purse is calling my name. It is, like, so adorable. Um, it's, like... It's not too heavy with all my stuff, but then again, I take the whole house with me. Like, just ask my parents. They always laugh, and they're like, Jorana, you don't need an extra pair of flip-flops in your shoes. In my shoes? No, no. Let's try this again. In my purse. Um, so, yeah. This is just, this is what it looks like. It's got these really pretty butterflies. Like, I was a little bit hesitant because I was like, butterflies, that seems a little bit, like, little girlish. But the colors of it and the way of the style is just so, like, pretty. It's got, like, these... It's actually cream colored and then this light, almost periwinkle blue, I think that's what you call. And it's got this stretchy band right here. It almost looks like a t-shirt. Like, when I look at it, it almost looks like a t-shirt. Like, no joke. And then it's got these straps here that are adjustable. And one second. Okay, sorry. Hold on one second. Alright, that always happens. Like, either I get, like, my phone rings in a video or, like, somebody, like, messages me and a video and it's just like oh my gosh no I'm just kidding so let's go ahead and jump right I feel like I've just done a long intro and I just look horrible right now oh my goodness you guys like I'm sorry having uh, another panic moment bad days gotta love them okay so the first thing I have right here is hand sanitizer because I am a germaphobe um and I also have another one in my purse but this one is kind of empty or it's really really low actually and it's blue and I've had this for like a while now and it's in the scent midnight pomegranate which is delicious so I found that like it hung right there and oh my goodness 
this is the type of slouchy purse where everything doesn't have like a little like neat pocket and stuff like this one i feel like it was a bit organized because it had pockets everywhere and stuff like that with this you just throw it in there and you go which is kind of nice because i that's kind of how i treat my bedroom is i just throw everything and on it and just let it be um and it has like one little pocket which i like but everything's just kind of thrown in so i'm just going to pop or just pull out whatever's first okay so this thing is a letter and i'm not going to show the front of it because it has like um addresses and names and all that jazz um the reason why i have this is because a friend of mine um hello loretta if you're watching this video which i don't know if you are or not but um she always sends me like these hilarious letters of our inside jokes and it's perfect for like when you're having bad days it's so nice to read something funny from like a friend or something like that so i feel like i can always it's like a picture or whatever so i feel like i can always like pull this out when i have a bad day and just look at it and laugh and be like you know oh ha ha you know like it's not how i laugh but yeah i gotta be careful i'm just gonna put that down so i don't show anything um so yeah that's why i have that there then i have this like bag right here which i don't really know why um like i said i don't know just and then uh this thing okay i can't really show this side because it has our address but this is uh my mom has like a reward card at jc pennies and it's her birthday coming up so they give her like 15 dollars off and i'm keeping this in my purse because her birthday's coming up and me and my dad have to go to um have to go to um we have to go to jc pennies and or oh my gosh um we might have to go there and get her something so i just do that in my purse because it was just a way that i wouldn't like lose it or whatever then the next thing i have is my little snacks and the reason why i have my little snacks in my little bag like how dorky is that like hey you know i just can pull out my sack it's because like last summer i was like having these problems like eating problems where if i didn't eat like between two to three hours i'd start getting like really the bad like really bad shakes and stuff like that and just almost like getting sick and so i've kind of out not outgrown that but it's kind of gotten to where like i can go about five six hours which is pretty much the normal time but just in case and my dad also is like the same way where he get like gets like the shake so i always carry snacks with me um and I just have, I'm not going to really get it out, but I just have a granola bar and some Ritz crackers. And that's it for that. Then I have a notepad, which, um, well, this isn't a notepad, but they're like little, like, note thingies. I don't even know what you call these, um, at the moment. But I just have this because I find myself always needing something to write down and or if somebody's asking me, uh, if somebody asks me, like, oh, hey, can, you know, can we get your phone number? I'll be like, let me just pull out my pad of paper or whatever you call this thing and write it down you know so i'm always like better be safe than sorry type of person i don't know it's just it's crazy crazy junk in here then i have my camera and normally when i go out i just put this in here to show you guys like when i um like of course i don't just carry my purse around the house you know that'd be kind of weird um but when i go out of the house i um always take the camera with me because i'm always 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 taking pictures and it looks like this and it's just the Nikon cool pics. Nothing real fancy about that. And yeah, so I just have my camera with me. This is the only thing that kind of like weighs down my purse like so much. Um, it's kind of heavy, kind of not, but it's to the point where I can carry it. Then I have my little like hair emergency kit. I don't really have any makeup. Or I don't have makeup, period, in my purse because when I'm out and about, the one thing I can care less really is about my makeup, um, so I don't really have to do, like, touch-ups or anything like that to my makeup, so I don't really carry any. Um, but I do like, you know, to fix my hair, I'm always, like, that's, like, my main thing is my hair has to look good, um, which, I don't know, yeah. So I always have, like, a headband just in case, like, I need to, whoa, I'm just dropping everything like it's hot. Um, I always have, like, a headband case i need to pull my hair back because i have like these awkward like long bangs right here and i'm always going like that because they're just annoying me and then this is like my little like hair emergency kit thing and it just looks like this it has some clips in it some bobby pins and some really 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 mini tiny clips which comes in handy and then i have my little hold on one second here I'm trying to go as fast as i can with this video i have my little like gum type thing i have this orbits gum wait hold on there's nothing in there wow that's that's sad um, I have this little Orbitz gum thing, and I'm just going to throw that away because there's nothing in there, I guess. I think my mom liked the last piece. Then I have this Stride thing, flavor-changing gum, buried them in. Um, I'm, I don't know. I've kind of gotten, like, since I haven't had, ew, this probably needs to be thrown away. Like, look at how disgusting that looks. That looks very disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, I always, like, 
I used to be a gum chewer. Then when I got braces, like a whole year, like a whole year and a half went by, um, to where the point was where I just didn't want to chew gum. And now I've kind of lost my taste for gum. I mean, I chew it on and off, but not like I used to. So that's why these have been in here for like a while. Well, this has. This probably needs to be thrown away. And it's just this dried flavor, buried mint. Buried mint. I always laugh at this because of that commercial where they're like put in their mouth and like screaming like, oh my gosh, it's buried mint. It's just, it's funny. And it does, it's true to um, what it says. It does change. It's kind of weird. Why am I putting it Okay. Then this thing, oh my goodness, this is so good. And I love this so much because it went sugar free right there. You can't even see because it's like dark under there. Um, but it went sugar free and that's juicy fruit. And I used to love juicy fruit, but with braces, I can't really chew any not sugar gum. So it has to be like sugar free or else that's just going to like ruin it. But then when I saw this, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. And it's a juicy riddle, um, new Wrigley's juicy fruit, 15 sticks. And it tastes so delicious. Um, yeah. Here's my other hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer. That sounded weird. And, um, uh, um, 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 sorry, like, I was thinking about something and then I just, like, completely lost my thought. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, so this thing is Passion Fruit, my hand sanitizer from Pier 1 Imports. Why do I feel like I just told you guys about this? Oh, it was in my one video, um, it was in my one video about, um, five facts or whatever and the reason why I carry this in a bag if you don't know is because it kind of leaks sometimes and I don't want it all over my purse but this thing seriously smells so good so if you want hand sanitizer just go to Pier 1 or Bath and Body Works or a normal store <sighs> why did I just do that I don't know it's one of these messed up videos where I try to film it and it just turns out like a complete disaster like I don't even know what I just did that little horse thing there that was really embarrassing I really wish I could cut that out but I don't really have a video editor to do that so um I just have my sunglasses next thing is my sunglasses and I love these so much they look like this I completely like forgot where I got them but I'll put them on for you guys just you know yeah okay you can can't see because of the glare but I love these so much they're like my like little like glasses sunglasses they do protect like from the sun or whatever and I just love these so much like I think they're so cute and they just fit my face really well so yeah then I have a pen and a pencil where is my pen I don't even know where my pen is it it went somewhere but I have just a pencil just like to write things down in case and I always doodle about random nothing then this is my wallet and it just looks like this it's XOXO I've had this for like ever now like seriously um and then when you open it up it's got like this is my grandma and the reason why I keep I don't have my permit yet but um the reason why I keep her in there is she, like she died like eight years ago and she was like long story short I just keep her in there because I miss her so much and every time I open up my wallet it makes me smile because I get to see my grandma there and if you guys look in the um picture right up there I think it is that's my grandma um a picture of her and the reason why it's hanging on my wall is like I just told you so I always like love to see her little face and stuff like that it sounds really cheesy but so I just have like random like gift cards that I've had for like months now and again I'm kind of a hoarder so that's why my oh I forgot to put that in my five facts you didn't know about me. well now you know that I'm a hoarder and I always keep stuff so um yeah I just have like gift cards some even have gift cards in here that don't even have any money but I'm just like I don't want to let go of this um and then in here I just have pictures and some money which is kind of rare that I have money in there but like I said I just got paid so um anyways and then this is like my little like change um right here and it's got pretty much nothing because last time I like emptied it out was like for a tithe on church and I'm now rambling on about yeah Okay, the next and last thing is this candies, and it's my glass case container. Um, I normally don't carry my glasses in my purse because they'll either break, and I always have them somewhere around the house, and I put them on when I go out because um, that's when I need them, like, the most. And they just look like this. They're like my nerd glasses. Well, these are actually real, like, type glasses. Um, so I just carry this, and in here I have glass cleaner and a little, like, glass cleaner thing yeah um and then lastly in the bottom here it's like really like that like um kind of feeling what kind of feeling is that i don't know can you feel it it is like the 
it's like a satiny type of silk, silk, silky feeling. Um, and then on the bottom, I have a piece of cardboard here. You can even see that. Um, I have a piece of cardboard because the only thing I don't like about this purse is it slouches. So if I were to put everything in there, it'd probably look like that when it like slouches or whatever. And it just kind of keeps it more stabilized and stuff like that. So that is like the whole what's in my purse bag. I was trying to make this less than 20 minutes because, um, I do have shorts on by the way. Yeah. Um, because like I just didn't like long videos for you guys. Um, it also has like a little like snappy thingy right here to snap it closed which I'll show you guys, and I don't know, it's really cute, and I love that I got it from Walmart for like oh, $10. So that's pretty much just what it looks like. I don't know why I attempted to show you, but it is much better than this. Like, yeah, this was really, really cute at the time that I bought it, but it's history now. Gotta bring new ones in, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go clean this mess up because now I have junk all over my floor for my purse but basically what I'm gonna do is just toss it back in like yeah I'm not even gonna show you because it's just everywhere um and normally I don't know I'll probably like keep a book I have a book haul to show you guys and now I'm just gonna go because I'm getting really really tired I'm getting really really hungry it's 9 20 and I haven't really eaten dinner yet I know shame on me um so I'm gonna go because yeah I'm getting really hungry and I am going to go chat with some friends and I will talk to y'all in my next video which will be a book haul so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my purse bag, what's in my purse bag, what's in my purse or what's in my bag, I'll probably title it that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, 